in this tutorial we will see part modeling so first click on new then model is already selected click on ok so part environment is on here after that click on extrude select sketch section click on the plane where you want to create the sketch and click on ok then suppose I will create one rectangle you can do pan by holding down the shift and scroll button and dragging the mouse so I have created one sketch so sketch should be close it should not be open give the desired dimensions then click on finish sketch then from here you can give the height or here also you can give the height what height you want you want to extrude up to what height that you can depend from here then for start also you can give some limit suppose I again increase this by 50 and if I put some value in the start suppose I put 10 there enter so it will shift it by 10 at the below below side so if you want to go downward from this case then you have to put here minus minus 20 suppose enter so it will go downward from the sketch if you put plus sign it will go above the sketch so in this in this way you can go on the either side as per requirement if you want to switch over the side side then from here you can reverse direction so it will reverse the direction of the distance suppose i want here zero only and one more thing you can also create a symmetric value also if you click on symmetric value it will give that distance on both side and suppose if you want to extrude on only one side select value here so again I will put here 0 then next is draft here you can define the draft angle whatever you want suppose from start limit suppose I want angle of 10 degree enter so it will create a draft of 10 degree you can double click and edit the part double click on the extrude and you can edit it again so in this way you can create a draft also from the start limit or section in this case it is same suppose if we create a symmetric value and if we give from section so it will give it it will keep the section size same and it will give angle on the upper side in the inside direction and from lower side in the outside direction so in this way we can control draft from where to start the draft if you say from start limit so it will start from the bottom so 10 degree will be started from the bottom and here your sketch size, uh, size will reduce the size of model at section will reduce so in this way you can control and if you want to give a symmetric angle you can give two different angles also from the section suppose here I want 5 degree so on the bottom side it is 5 on the upper side it is 10 in this way you can uh, you can also give symmetric angles so both angles will be same then if you click on match ends so here right now the ends are properly match but if suppose if I change the height of this actually then we, we can see the difference suppose here I take the value option and here I reduce the value by 30 value to 30 suppose now if you see 
if I don't take the match angle and I see select the symmetric angles then here the endpoints are not in same line even though angle is same endpoints are not in the same line but if suppose I want these endpoints in the same line then I can choose from here match ends so it will automatically adjust the angle of this and have both the ends in the same line so it will match the ends so in this way you can use the draft option so I will go for none here then next you can use offset if you want to create a hollow object suppose I give offset of for you so it will create a hollow object with thickness of for you here it has I think it is not suppose we will change the thickness thickness to suppose 10 enter ok offset that means it will actually offset from your sketch eh? we, uh, it is going suppose we will see the top view so that we will understand it properly so it is offsetting outside by distance of 10 from your sketch from all the sides it is offsetting by distance of 10 and if you want to make a hollow then you have to click here two sided and then on one side suppose start is 0 end is 10 then you will have a hollow object that means from sketch it is going outside by 10 and inside on in the inside side it is 0 so you can give from thickness on inside also suppose from outside I want to inside I want 5 so in this way you can give the thickness again actually here I am giving positive value therefore it is shifting outside if I want it to be inside then I will have to give start to minus 5 again then it will come inside actually so 5 will be inside and 2 will be outside so in this way you can create a hollow object using offset and you can also give symmetry if you want same on both side from your sketch so you can give the symmetry uh, choose the symmetric option so in this way you can use the offset suppose I don't want this offset option so I will say none so I don't want suppose this below also so I will make it 0 I will make it suppose 30 so I want to make only this plate I will click on ok so this plate is created then one more object I want to crea uh, create here so again I will go for extrude then again click on sketch section then click on the surface you want to work on while clicking on the surface if you see this XYZ icon is shifting when we go to different points so that is actually the reference point you can define with what reference you want to create your sketch suppose I want to create my sketch with this reference so click on this side and then click on ok so your sketch will be created with this reference point suppose again I want to create a rectangle so I will create a rectangle then give the parameters as required then finish the sketch again you can extrude it in a direction you want so in this way this is created then suppose I want to create a hole here then again same go for extrude now in the case of this actually extrude 2 if we click on boolean operation unite is automatically selected therefore it came connected actually if it is if we click there none then two objects will be created separately if you see here these two objects are separate so in version 8 it is automatically selected to union if you want to connect it again just double click here and select here unite so it will be connected select body is automatically selected ok so object is created connected then I want to create a hole here for that you have to again click on extrude then sketch section select the plane again the reference point you can control with what reference you want to create it suppose I want to create it with this reference face of extrude 1 then ok and 
click the shape suppose again I want to create a rectangular hole here so your dimension will come from this reference point automatically you can change it then click on finish sketch then reverse direction from here reverse direction then go to boolean and here select subtract if you want to cut a section select subtract here and click on ok so your object will be cut so in this way you can keep on making the object using extrude command first you have to create a sketch then extrude it then if you want to make any changes uh, in any shape then you can suppose I want to make some changes in extrude 1 then just uh, if I want to make a changes to the sketch of extrude 1 then right click on it and click on edit sketch so you can make changes to the sketch suppose here I want a circular portion here so I will just take circle from the midpoint connecting to this point then the shape should be close one so I will trim this portion using quick trim then close then click on finish sketch so your part will be updated automatically so in this way you can make changes to the sketch if you want to make changes to any of the extrude just double click on it so dialog box will appear here again you can make changes here whatever changes you want suppose I want to make it 60 and then click on ok so in this way you can edit the history here in part navigator then next and suppose if you don't want any feature you just right click and click on delete so those features will be deleted suppose I don't want it completely then next suppose again I want to create one extrude just click on extrude again sketch section suppose I want to make it on vertical plane so I will click on vertical plane ok then I will just hold down the shift and scroll and drag the mouse to pan now here I will create one sketch so using this sketch we will see the remaining concept of extrude command actually then you can track it the end point and connect it back then to come out you can press the scroll button so again scroll button then finish sketch so your sketch is created zoom fit so here we have seen the symmetric option you can use the symmetric value if you want to extrude on the both sides of the sketch then click on ok and suppose again I want to create some object suppose here on this surface on this surface again I will say extrude then click on this plane suppose I want to create a circle here so I will create a circle then finish sketch so one circle is created then if we again click to this value you will have this option until next if you take that option it will automatically extrude up to the next surface actually and if I go for until selected so whatever surface you select it will extrude up to that surface if we click on through, through all then it, it will extend up to the last object if you want to make holes for this then you have to select boolean subtract and ok so it will create holes through our holes as we started from this surface so therefore hole is not created on this and if still you want hole to be created on this part also then double click extrude to and then define value here on the opposite side suppose I want value to be 20 so it should be actually greater than 20 or you can also on other side you can use through all then ok so it will cut on both the sides and it will pass through complete object then using these options 
you can view different views that is parametric view and top view then isometric view so different views you can view from here suppose I keep the isometric then from here you can see different shaded shaded without edges so edges will not be visible then shaded with wireframe so behind lines are in grey colors hidden lines are in grey colors wireframe with hidden edges wireframe with hidden edges so hidden edges are not visible actually then okay then here is different zooming options are there if you fit then zoom you have to press mouse hold first mouse button and create a rectangle so that much area will be zoomed so zoom fit then zoom in out is there hold down the first mouse button and drag the mouse so you can zoom plus and minus then pan is there then you can also orbit by holding down the first mouse button from here suppose you will take again shaded with edges and here is ok alright that will see later so that's all so we will stop here thanks for joining